Hi there, and welcome to this video tutorial in the How to Model series. In this video, we will be talking about model doors and model windows. At the end of this tutorial, you will know how to model windows and doors, how to assemble your model windows and doors, and how to glue them into your model. What you will need for this part of the model is the windows and doors already cut to the correct size. You will also need some clear plastic to represent the glass of the windows and doors, acetate sheets can be used for this, or laminating pouches, and also you will need some glue or double sided sticky tape. What we will be doing, you can see here on the screen, is an exploded view of the window. Here we have the outer window frame, we have the rails of the window, and we have the acetate sheet that represents the glass. It's a similar story with the door. We have the outer frame of the door here. We have the wooden panelling for the bottom half of the door. And we have the acetate sheet that represents the glass. Okay, now I'm going to show you the technique for putting our doors and windows into our model. Now, as you can see here, I have two windows put already put in this model here. The windows should only be put into your model when the outside of your model is completely painted and fully finished. Because if you go stick in your windows, you have to be very careful not to get paint on them when you're painting the outside of your model. So it's best to finish the outside of the model first and then finally put in the windows and doors into their final position. Now, as you can see here, the opening that I have left for my window, and this is the window that I have cut out for it. You can see that the window is actually too big for the opening, but there's a very good reason for that because we need to glue this window in position. So if we leave the window cut larger than the actual opening for it, we have space that we can leave glue, put glue on in here. And when we stick it to the inside of our model, the glue line is hidden. And even if it, the glue squeezes out a bit, it won't squeeze out. So it won't be seen when the model is finished. So I'll show you how to assemble the door now. So at the moment here, I have my door outline cut out. I have the little wooden panels that are going to put in the back, but made out of card as well. And I have my acetate sheet, or clear plastic, that's going to represent the glass. Now on the back of the door here, I already have double-sided sticky tape put on. As you can see here, I'll just take off the last piece of double-sided sticky tape here now. Now the double-sided sticky tape is just to hold this wooden panel and hold the acetate in position. So it's a very simple process. You just line up the panel at the back with your door and stick it down. And the double-sided sticky tape holds it all in position. You can give it a, a little push to the back there. And that's our panel in position. You can kind of see now the way it kind of gives the effect of depth in it as well. And then just to stick on our acetate in the back there as well. And the double-sided sticky tape is well capable of holding them together because there's no stress, stress or pressure on them. So you can see there now that's our door and panel put together. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually glue the door in position. So I just put a little dab of glue down on a waste piece of card and I use a little spreader cut off an off piece of a waste piece of the poster board as well. Now you don't need to use a whole pile of glue here and just run a nice bead of glue around the outside of the door like so. Not to use too much glue 
and take your time putting the glue on. And then we get our model. And we'll stick our door in its final position there. Like so. And you can just hold it for a couple of moments and let the glue kind of take hold. And as you can see, that's our door in its finished finish position there. Nice neat line around it with no gaps.